Welcome back to Wegg's Garage, where we still don't have a cylinder head for our 1964 Triumph TR4. But we got some good news. Our head is gonna be back here in just like less than a week right now. So what we're gonna do today is get the rest of the block and engine cleaned up. <laughs> and make sure everything's ready to go so we can get it installed as soon as possible. Stay tuned. All right, so the, a little bit here, this is our uh, block, cylinder head is off. Uh, these three head studs are still, we're still unable to get those removed, uh, but we're not gonna think about that right now. Uh, what we wanna do now is get the waterways in between all these cylinder liners cleaned out. There's a whole bunch of uh, kind of crud and junk that accumulates back in here because the engine is sort of tilted back and it, all the junk kind of settles in that back corner. Uh, now there's a little drain underneath here. Uh, so we're gonna work on like flushing through some water to just try and get all the loose stuff out. Uh, and then we're gonna try using some CLR to also remove any calcium or rust or other junk that's kind of stuck on there and hopefully get everything like nice and squeaky clean inside there. Chunks. Right, so this is working quite well. Give you a little tour of the setup here. So you got a funnel here and a garden hose. Uh, we're pouring some water in the front end of the block. Uh, there's the petcock down there. Uh, and we've got a piece of tubing, I don't know if you can see that, kind of pushed over the end of it. I believe that's a 3 8 inch tubing. Fits nice tight fit over the end of that thing. Uh, and then the tube runs over here, and we've just got it going into a small bucket there. And uh, we're getting quite a bit of pieces of rust and gunk out of there. And this is without even it using any cleaner yet. So we're just trying to get the loose stuff here. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see it come through. Yeah, you can see it floating through. Hose there, so. It's working, we're just kind of repeating the process until we feel like we've gotten most of the loose stuff, then we'll be moving on to using some CLR. Getting to the point now where it seems like we've gotten a lot of the loose debris out of here. Uh, there's not a whole lot coming through the tube. There's a little bit, but we're thinking now if, if we add a little bit of CLR, um, that'll help loosen the remaining stuff up. Now CLR is kind of a it's a good cleaner, but it's not super harsh. I know I've seen people put like you know, all, all manner of acids inside of engine blocks to clean them. Uh, I'm not sure I want to get that crazy on this, but what we're going to do is we're going to pour this in full strength and kind of cover just like the lower section of the water jacket and just let that sit for a while. Then we'll come back and fill it up and just let that sit for a while at a diluted strength on everything. Uh, and then we'll flush her through a couple more times until we feel like we got it clean.
Good plan? Good plan. <laughs>All right, so while we wait for our CLR to work, I've been inspecting the cylinder liner protrusion here from the block. Uh, now, this manual states that's supposed to be between 0 .003 and 0 .005 inches. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to check, but it's not too bad. Uh, and I've checked all of them, and they're all pretty darn close. Uh, they're either they're usually somewhere between the 0.003 and the 0.05. So this one's about 0.03 over here, probably about 0.03. There's about 0.003 there. So they're closer probably to the 0.003. I'm not going to show you all the different angles here. I've tried a bunch of them. Uh, and they're all fairly consistent, so I think that's going to be okay. Now, that's really important because the head gasket needs to seal against these liners more so than it needs to seal against the block, so that's why the liners re really need to be precisely at the right height above the block. Uh, and as far as I can tell, I think we're good. So, dodged a bullet there. All right, moment of truth. We uh, had our CLR in there for about 10 minutes, full strength, then we filled the block up, left her for about another 10 minutes, and now we're gonna drain it out. So I'll bring you down here where the action's gonna be. Dad, hit it. Here she goes. Ooh, those are some good chunks. Coming out a very interesting color. Here, I'll shut it off. Okay. Off. All right. See, that was clean when we started. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. Well, there's some chunks. Okay, I think that was pretty successful. We got her drained out. Now we're gonna flush it a couple more times again with water. All right, so it's gonna be like impossible to show the results here. Uh, but now when we look down in there, uh, previously there were loose pieces of, of uh, metal and dirt and sludge and just all kinds of grime down inside there. And uh, we flushed this thing uh, literally dozens of times. And uh, now when you look down in there, you can really just see the cast iron of the block uh, the cylinder liners still have just a little bit of kind of like little rust pieces just on the outside. Those are fairly well stuck on. I suppose if you really hit it with something more uh, corrosive to clean it up, that might clean it up better, but we're not too worried about it. I mean, as soon as you put it back together, it's going to start this whole process all over again. So really what we've done is we just made some nice improvements here. The water's really flowing through. When we started, the water was just barely flowing out of the petcock, and now it's just like flying out of this block. So uh, hopefully that's gonna improve our cooling system uh, even more. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap for today. Uh, really happy with how that turned out. Uh, again, if you need to do this, uh, the CLR seems to work pretty well. It's definitely a nice mild starting point. Um, to your cleaning of the block. So highly recommended.
The next time you see us, we should have our reconditioned head for this engine back. And uh, with any luck, we might just get it on. So come back next time. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting episode. Until then, take care. Later.